Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today we are going to do a pick a card reading or pick a reading reading. Um, I say that because, you know, each reading is going to be pretty detailed. Um, I chose it's either six or seven cards for each one, and um, I have not looked at them, I promise you. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be really about love. I was going to say future love, but I feel like I don't want to, you know, put love in a box right now. So, um, and it's interesting because I thought about bringing out past lives um, also. So even though I didn't bring out the deck, it can also relate to past life love, um, soulmate love, twin flame love, you know, whatever your situation, love is love. Let's just put it that way. Love is love. So um, really anything you need to know. And again, trust your intuition in these types of readings. I mean, you really want to learn to trust your intuition. Um, I do read through my spirit guides who then connect to your guides. So that's why I just, you know, the more you can relax within a reading, let's say, and certainly you can ask your guides for confirmation, like, which reading should I pick? Um, uno, dos, tres. Uh, but remember, more than one reading may apply to you, and you'll know that. Um, I often feel in these readings that by time we're done, we've told one big story. You know, we told three separate stories, but then I also feel like let's just say the fourth would be the ultimate story. So go ahead and just quiet your mind. Um, ask your guides. Oh, my light just went off. Oh, just came back on. That You know, that makes me feel like, okay, our guides are here. Our guides are ready. Um, I was just about to call in my guides, so they're already here. Okay, so again, just close your mind, calm your mind, and then go ahead and see if you can see a number in your mind. One, two, or three. Uno, dos, tres. And then trust that. Okay. All right, I wanted to give you a moment. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. Let's bring three and two up to the top and let's start with one i'm going to bring the lid down and again this is just love in its many different forms so we'll see we'll see what it brings out all right if you're ready i'm ready so we're going to start with the psychic tarot each of them have the same cards um one may have, I think three has more, like has two romance angels, I believe. Yeah, where the rest has one. So other than that, they are the same. Um, so, Psychic Trill. Hmm. Five of Cups. Interesting. Here, it's called Emotional Loss. You know, the Five of Cups is... It's really asking you where your focus is at. You know, anytime you see a five, think that, you know, some type of change is at least possible. It's asking for change, but you do have free will. So this can, you know, the danger of the five of cups is I can kind of get lost in that energy of, you know, woe is me, though. You know, I'm not putting you down when I say that because we've all been there. Um, but the great thing with the Five of Cups, the one thing that a lot of people forget is when I stop focusing on the past in in a way of like, you know, how my cups have fallen, why have my cups fallen? It's, you know, first of all, find that emotional clarity. But in the Five of Cups, when this person does make this change, there's two cups. You can't see it in this image but there's two cups that are behind him. And to me, that's a soulmate. So, you know, whether this is someone of the past, someone of the future, it's definitely representing a soulmate energy. But first, it's asking for change. Okay, so now we're going to use the Tarot of Dreams. 
we have the strength card, card of Leo. Um, it's interesting because we have a five, which is change, and now we have an eight, which is about a new beginning. This is really looking within. This is finding balance within. You know, this is knowing oneself. Um, I often feel in the strength card, it's like the balance of the masculine and the feminine. I'm looking at energy that, you know, in the past may have tempted me. It could have been lower vibrational energy. And it's definitely energy that I want to overcome. Um, so it does feel like this is about a new beginning. You know, in the strength card, I feel like this person really has courage. Like, that's why I want to say courage. Courage to go within. And then we're taking another tarot of dreams. Hmm, the hangman. Slow down, you move too fast. The hangman. It's almost like it, it's definitely a pause in the action, right? With the hangman. But because right now it's mirroring the five of cups, it may say, you know, if like I am looking for a soulmate type of love. Oh, excuse me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so anyways, um, the hangman mirroring that five of cups. I just feel like what it's saying is like on a universal level, let's say, or let's say through your spiritual team, you know, it's almost like your spiritual team is waiting for you to move out of the five of cups energy. Um, you know, I feel like this is saying that somewhere along the line, you've really learned about love. Maybe you really learned yourself in love. You know, think about the law of attraction. You know, if I'm calling in and this is love, so I have a feeling if you're here, then you're interested in having love. Um, so like, you know, calling in your soulmate type of energy, but at the same time, I've got to know, look at my light went out again. What's going on in reading number one? Um, that's weird. And it's not my light bulbs because it, it's a new, I put in new light bulbs like a couple weeks ago. Anyway, it's interesting, the interruptions, you know, I have a feeling you're getting a lot of interruptions in your love life because for some reason I'm getting interrupted here. Not interrupted, I shouldn't say that because I just recognize that the lights went off twice. Um, that does feel like a sign, to be honest. I can talk about like, you know, like all of a sudden I'm feeling like where love went dark, but then the light came back on again. So the hangman is seeking wisdom, right? I'm seeking, I'm seeking spiritual wisdom for this earthly plane. Um, but I also feel the hangman is saying, you know, first of all, know yourself in love because, oh, I know what I was going to say about the law of attraction. You know, I'm, I'm going to attract wherever my vibration is at. The universe must meet me right where I'm at. So if I'm still like in that energy of like looking back and like, why, why did these cups have to fall? Well, there's probably something in store. There's something, you know, whether it be, well, it's a soulmate, you know, I don't even know why I'm questioning that. I already know that. All right. So we're going to take the light seers. Temperance, look at that. Temperance, first of all, card of Sagittarius. This is, you know, Temperance's first message is patience. I do feel like sometimes the universe is having patience on us, though. Um, and it's interesting because we have the hangman that comes right before this. Temperance is about trusting in divine timing. You know, it's like your ships will come in. You just have to believe it. You just have to know it. And I love that the Five of Cups is next to the Strength card, even though that can be temporarily difficult energy. This is really where you are knowing yourself. You know, you maybe you're even understanding energy more and like the law of attraction, right? And I have to try to be what it is that I want. Temperance. 
I love the temperances here because that tells me the temperance divine is involved in your love life. So where I felt a soulmate, now this kind of verifies that for me. Temperance, okay. And we're using another light seers. We have the nine of pentacles under the strength card. Nine of pentacles. Um, you know, the, the nine of pentacles is very independent type energy. And maybe some of you, that's like what the journey has been about. You know, like maybe I've lost a love, but I don't feel like you wasted time because this tells me that, you know, you created something for yourself that you can now stand on your own two feet and feel really good about it. You know, it reminds me of my daughter who um, had a, had a, how do, how do I want to say this? Had to, in a way, um, depend on her ex for like child support and that, which he was terrible with. So now she's working a good job and now she's feeling independent and she doesn't have to take his bullshit anymore. I mean, you know what I mean? And, and I don't know why I'm just feeling that for some of you, you know, it's like, okay, I've gone through this hardship, but it didn't waste the time. You know, I became stronger within myself. Some of you, you created a business for yourself. You know, the meaning of this card is successful self-employment. But when, when I read it in love, I really think about independence. I really think about being able to stand on my own two feet. Um, I don't need someone to come in and take care of me financially. Doesn't mean I wouldn't welcome, you know, help in that area. But I certainly don't need anyone Um and, you know, maybe that's part of what the hangman is about. You know, another thing I want you to remember is as souls, we came down into this lifetime to have human experiences. And yes, love is part of that. I do feel like love is part of that. But I also feel like there's other things that our soul wanted to accomplish. So I kind of feel proud of you here. Because I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You're accomplishing. You're, you know, you're either beginning to see the fruits of your labor or you will see the fruits of your labor. And I love the temperance is right next to that. So, you know, some of you may have like spiritually based businesses. Eight, nine. All right. So now we're using the universal trail. We have the Page of Wands, my little risk taker. My little risk taker. Um, and it's coming under the hangman. So it may be asking you or it may be saying to you, like, there is going to be a time where you are going to have to take a chance. You know, the Page of Wands to me is someone who has taken risks throughout their lives. And of course, not all of them worked out. But this is someone who gets back up again. You know, it's like getting knocked up the horse and I, what do I have to do? I got to get right back on that horse. Um, doesn't mean I have to like fall right back in love. But it's, it's just understanding that sometimes they take chances, sometimes they work out, and sometimes they don't. Now, I feel like that's tied back to the five of cups. So those three cups that have been knocked over, you know, past relationships or a past, you know, you could have given someone three time, three chances. Um, but I feel like it's talking more about what happens after the fact, the soulmate type of energy. And then we have interesting, we have retreat. Um, did I put all of these? Let me just see. Okay, so I have them all in reverse. So I'm just going to switch them around because I did not mean to do that. All right, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Well, maybe that's what some of you have done. Disconnected. Put your energy in your finances or in your creative house. 
created something for yourself. And now may, maybe now you're like ready to reintroduce yourself to the world. You know, it's funny because in this image, to me, it looks like a father walking his daughter down the aisle. Nothing else. I, I get this feeling that some of you have a father who it, who has passed on. And I feel like they're walking side by side with you. Very strong energy. That may be why my lights went off twice. So some of you, I feel like during like this retreat action, which could also relate back to the hangman, I feel like you're getting spiritual advice. You may not even know it. You may not even know, you know, I'm saying father, let's just say a father figure, someone that if I was going to get married, I would want to um, walk me down the aisle. Okay. So, and with temperance here, divine timing, you know, and what feels like good old dad really um, helping me here. And I just want to say one more thing before I bring, um, we are, we're going to clarify each reading. So they are going to be a little longer. That's why I call them readings, not pick a card. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, you know, there could be some, some remnants of like, you know, I'm going to say your father, but again, it feels like a father figure it could be a big brother. Um, could be an uncle that you really loved. It does feel like someone is guiding you that you have lived life with and love and they loved you. Um, but you may have picked up like a bad habit from them. Um, and it can certainly relate to love, but it can relate to anything. And I feel like, you know, as father, I really don't want you to carry this further. You know what I mean? Like, I want you to be able to break, let's call it that curse. You know, I want you to be able to break it for the rest of the bloodline. Like, once you clear it, then it's cleared for eternity. Okay. Let's bring in the Gilded Tarot. I'm going to give them a shuffle. I'm going to go ahead and give them a cut. And let's just go over this. I'm going to bring Retreat right over here. You know, which makes perfect sense with the Hangman there. But... I feel like the retreat is coming to an end. And I feel like that's a good thing. You know, it's like some of you disconnected from the world for a while. Um, I know that feeling, you know, and I know that I need to do that every once in a while. Um, I know some of you are probably like, give me signs, Sandy. Who are the people on the table? Well, the people on the table, though, I'm going to tell you the signs, but beyond that, I don't really look at the signs. So we have um, Leo, we have Virgo, we have Sagittarius, we have um, this page. Though I do feel like it's you, it can represent like a younger um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have Leo right here. We also have Sagittarius mirroring it right now. All right, look at this. The chariot. First of all, card of cancer. Excuse my big band-aid, by the way. But it feels like it's go time. It, you know, and you have a lot to do with this. Because it is your reflection back and just finding clarity within it, understanding yourself, you know, all parts of yourself without judgment, you know, like, have I 
you know, was I in the habit of being tempted to like the bad guy or the bad girl, you know, where it was a lot of fun, but it didn't relate, it, you know, it didn't turn out to be anything more than that. Um, so, you know, I come in and I give you the opportunity to really take this energy to unlimited potential. That's what the chariot speaks about, unlimited potential. However, I do want to remind you with the chariot's energy, it is your seeds of intention that are moving this chariot. So if let's just say I put positive intentions um, into the chariot, well, then I feel like only positive things will come back to you. Or if anything, let's say, is of a negative nature, you'll be able to handle it. Because this does talk about balance also. You know, you found balance within yourself. It can also speak about the masculine and the feminine. Both have found balance. So if it's speaking about soulmates, it could, you know, and temperance, really controlling divine timing. I hate to say controlling because... She, what she really says is trust in divine timing that, you know, your ships, your person will come in at the right time. But it feels like part of the right time is you not focusing on or at least, you know, the five of cups. It is sad. Um, you know, it does hurt. But at the same time, I think we just have to learn that not everyone is great at love, you know, and sometimes we can't take it personally, even though it does feel very personal. And what I mean by that is, you know, I may have given someone a lot of my time who ended up hurting me, but I feel like they probably hurt the person before them. They'll probably hurt the person after you. So this is movement. And I'm glad to see that because to me, that means a soulmate's on its way. We have the Hierophant, um, card of Taurus, coming over the Strength card. It is a five. It's interesting because over the Strength card, which is a number eight, a new beginning. You know, once I found clarity within, it's time to allow myself to have a new beginning. Or maybe reconnect, you know, like in the world. Um, because it is saying it's go time. So this asks you really to examine your faith. You know, am I living life according to my terms? You know, my morals. Um, am, am, am I lowering my vibration to be with another or had I done that I don't feel like you are I feel like it's talking about past energy you know this also is a reminder not to give up hope to keep the faith you know um but it is coming over a strength card so I feel like it's really important that I do look within you know just to know myself um to know that First of all, that you can create true abundance for yourself, that you can stand on your own two feet. So it makes sense that I would want someone who has similar morals to me. You know, loyalty. Nothing but loyalty. We have the high priestess coming over the hang, the hangman. So it's like you instinctively know when it's go time. You know, like you may be in this retreat type of energy. Again, like disconnected from the world, so to speak. Um, but your intuition is is speaking to you. You know, it's it's like it's trying to get you ready. It's trying to bring you back into the world. Um, but you do have to trust your intuition. I love that the Hierophant is right next to it. And let's not forget that the hangman is seeking wisdom. So I love that it's, to me, what it's saying is 
this wisdom is going to come to you through your intuition, the signs. Trust your intuition. You know, the High Priestess is our GPS for this lifetime. Um, you know, it's like a reminder that we weren't just thrown into this world and said, go ahead and try to find your way. No, we were given certain gifts, and one of them is the High Priestess. One of them is our intuition. And the more we use our intuition, the more we trust it. Some of you may be in this energy of feeling like intuitively, I feel like someone's coming in. Intuitively, I feel like it's time for me to reconnect with the world. Intuitively, I feel like you're picking up on signs from, you know, dad, grandpa, big brother. And I love that she's looking right at the Hierophant. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay. So this is fast-moving energy. So where Temperance first asked for patience, the Hangman is in the pause energy right now, seeking wisdom. Re now receiving that wisdom with the High Priestess over it. And now the Eight of Wands is like, it's go time. But the Eight of Wands to me is also what I think about, I bring about. So if like I want to bring about a soulmate energy, first of all, I got to know where my own energy is at. And I feel like that's what the beginning is talking about, like knowing myself. And, and also understanding that, you know, if I really want, let's just say great love, then I also have to be able to give it, right? I got to be able to give what it is I want. And I, I don't know, I'm also picking up that whoever this soulmate is, I feel like they're going through similar type of energy because I feel like you're being guided together. So what I think about, I bring about, especially with the chariot right above it, because it is your intentions that move the chariot. But this also is, sign is signaling that this is something that's going to happen quickly. We have the Four of Cups. Interesting. So Four of Cups speaks about discontentment, boredom in one's life. But I feel like it's talking about an emotional level because I really feel like who's ever in this reading, I kind of feel like you got your shit together. Excuse my language. But I feel like that's the way I had to say it. Maybe that's the way dad says it. You know, like, look at you. You got your shit together. Um, I just feel like somebody says that. So... I feel like financially, you feel okay. I'm not going to say that you're rich or, you know, maybe you are. Um, but you're you're clearly able to stand on your own two feet as it relates to your finances. Your creativity is definitely open. Um, even your intuition, I feel like you are paying attention to it. So here comes this cup, right, in the Four of Cups. There's a cup being offered. And I feel like... Oh, sorry, I had a piece of hair in my mouth. Um, I feel like it's being offered from the hand of God. You know, let's just at least say divine. And this really is about learning to use your spiritual discernment relating to anything that comes towards you. This is a cup. We are doing a love reading. And I'm not so happy here anyway. So will I accept this cup? That's going to be free will. You know, like you can say no, but this person's looking right at that cup. A lot of times in the four of cups, the person's looking down at the cups, you know, kind of like the five of cups that have, that have been knocked over. But this person is looking at this cup. So whether I'm feeling it or I'm actually beginning to see it, I love 
that is coming over the Nine of Pentacles. And I also love that the Hierophant is above that. You know, so this cup is of the light. This cup feels like it's being directed by divine itself. All right, let's take one more or whatever wants to come out. The Ten of Wands. I want to just follow that, though. Ten of Wands does speak about a period of time. You know, here's what I feel. You could certainly be someone who, you know, I feel like a lot of the people who show up in the reading are very loving and caring individuals. Um, it doesn't mean that you haven't been through it, because I know many of you have. This could talk about something that maybe you needed to learn as it relates to love, and that could be, or maybe this is just what's happened, you know, in the past, where it does feel like in the Ten of Wands, like the re all the responsibility is put on my shoulders. I have no interest in repeating that, right? Like, if I, if I want, if I'm going to accept this cup, then I want this to be equal, right? I want it to be of equal vibration. And that's another reason why I feel like I have to know myself as it relates to love. And really in all areas, but because this is a love reading, especially love. You know, the hangman is like, I don't want to repeat that. Though, coming over the page of wands, it's like, though, I still will take, I'll still take a chance. But I feel like that's because you're listening to your intuition. Let's go ahead and I never like to leave it on at, um, an energy that can be a little difficult. Though, again, I do feel like it's talking about your past. Look at this, the magician. The manifester. Um, the magician really is the fool's greatest teacher. And I say the fool because I feel like we're all the fool. Any, we're the fool anytime we're starting something new and opening this reading up with the five it is talking about change but listen i know the change that it's bringing and again that is a soulmate um well what i was going to say so any new adventure in our life we really are beginning as a fool and that just means that we're willing to put the past in the past allow ourselves to have a new beginning. And then what the magician teaches the fool is you possess everything you need to be successful on this next journey, you know, in this new cycle. Hopefully this is a cycle that lasts forever. Um, but, you know, it's almost like you are saying to divine, I'm ready. I'm coming out of the energy of retreating. I'm putting myself back out there again. You know, it can literally talk about like going out into the world. And again, I feel like you don't have to even be looking. But maybe you just put those intentions out there. Because divine is really, you know, I feel like temperance's job if, if you want to call it a job, is to make make sure that both soulmates' cups are equally filled. It means they're both ready. It means they both can love with without... What's the word I want to use? Mm, I want to say without fear. Though I do know fear is a natural part of our humanness. And it is human. It's not our spiritual being. Our spiritual being would be like, heck yeah, I'm going to take a chance. You know, because we know the sp our spiritual self has been here, has done that. Especially if this is a soulmate energy, that means you do already know each other um, on a soul level. So, magician is the perfect energy here because after retreating, 
after some time in the hangman, taking a little time, you know, and I feel like the time you've taken has done you a world of good because number one, I feel like you understand yourself better than you ever have. Number two, I feel like you are really creating something um, because the four of cups coming over the nine of pentacles, first of all, you're already um, or you are on the way of really creating abundance for yourself. So I don't feel like that's the area where you're discontent. I feel like it's love. And by the way, this four of cups is looking right up at that five of cups. So for this read, I feel like to wrap it up, I feel like um, I feel a couple different things. Um, I feel, you know, where I've been was probably in some type of lower vibrational energy. It could have been with someone and it didn't work out. But chances are, you know, the day will come and you'll be thankful that that didn't work out. Because I feel like it's go time for this soulmate. For both of you to enter into each other's lives. And there could be a lot of similarities. I, I often find that when I'm, you know, reading for soulmates. I often find that they have like similar experiences. And they can really help each other. You know, even if I'm still a little broken. They're probably still a little broken. But I feel like that's where we come in. And we can truly help each other. And I love that, you know, let's just say a male figure who you loved is really helping to guide this. So, you know, I would say here, be open. You know, this is not about, um, I don't feel in any way am I like demanding or like I have to have love now. Uh, because, again, I feel like you did take some time out, like you weren't interested in love. And maybe you're still not, but that doesn't mean it won't still come in. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like that's what the strength card was talking about. That's what the high or the Hierophant is talking about. You know, like if love comes in, then I want to make sure this person, of course, is of the light, but also someone who has you know, good morals, um, faith, and I'm not talking religion, I'm talking spirituality, doesn't mean that they use those terms, it's, it's just someone who they themselves have, has also evolved, and that's what it looks like, like you've evolved, and it just feels like with temperance here, again, trusting in divine timing, well, now we have movement. So where we had a pause, now we have movement. And again, being, being, hmm, what's the word I want to say? Um, being guided by dear old dad, I feel like. And I even feel it doesn't even matter what your relationship was here on earth. Because again, there may be something that I also pulled forward that, you know, my dad, something that, you know, within my dad's energy that maybe when on this earth, I didn't, you know, I didn't like so much. And then here I find myself doing the same thing. Um, and I don't even know why I'm saying all that. All I want to say about that is that energy has been learned and cleared. Um, But who better, who better to help guide you? So, long story short, soulmate love feels like it's coming in. It's coming through that four of cups energy, though it is attached to the light. It's also attached to you feeling good on your own two feet. And that just feels like the right time the right time okay all right let's pick these up
and I hope that made sense. You know, it's funny, when I do a reading, it, like, makes perfect sense to me, um, but I wanted to make perfect sense to you also. All right, let's go ahead. Reading number two. Reading number two. All right, Psychic Tarot. Partnerships and Alliances. Beautiful. Look how they're holding each other. Tarot Dreams, Chariot. Card of Cancer. Interesting, we have the Chariot twice already. Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. You know, Ace of Pentacles means there's something coming into your physical world. And we're doing a love reading. Now, I also have to say, I love the Ace of Pentacles mirroring partnerships and alliances. Because really what I feel like this means is the understanding of the individuality. Like, you know, I don't feel like this is talking about any type of energy where you would need to change yourself. Um, it feels like you've been there, you've done that. You know, you know, it's almost like reading one, you did all that energy. Reading two, now the Ace of Pentacles, it means it's coming into your physical world. It's saying that there is a recognition of, of each soul, individuality, and the appreciation of that. Chariot. Again, unlimited potential, but also movement. And then it literally is bringing in the Ace of Pentacles. So let's keep going. Ten of Wands. Interesting how we're getting a lot of the same readings. We have the Five of Swords next to the Ten of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands. You have all, oh no, you don't. I was going to say you have all wands on a bottom line, but you don't. You have the five of swords in between. So again, a five, change. Um, it's interesting because when you look at this person, they're like scratching their head. What do I do? What do I do? Five of swords really does talk about, you know, toxic energy that you've been around. And it may ask you to question that, you know, like who am I, who, who am I hanging out with? I am who I hang out with. That's why I used to tell my kids, you are who you hang out with, or at least you're perceived that way. So it does speak of, you know, somewhere along the line, there was some toxicity. And I feel like it aches you to really cut that energy, to say no more to it. And then the Ten of Wands before that, again, that heavy energy of, where it does feel like all the responsibilities are on your shoulder, shoulders. But I love this image because I feel like this person, you know, they were at a mountaintop. And maybe they thought everything was going to just work out fine on that mountaintop, but it didn't, right? It's like everything dried up and died. So this person's on the move. This person left that mountaintop. They took what they could carry. It reminds me of my life story. Like every time I've left someone, I only took, you know, what could fit in my car, so to speak. I didn't worry about the rest. This person is heading towards a new mountaintop. And she is on that journey. She's on that journey. She's leaving. She or he. What's ever been toxic? Who's ever been toxic? No interest, right? I've left that. And to me, it feels like a signal to now bring in this ace. And you know, the ace of pentacles, I mean, here it looks like Hercules is, is holding up that ace. But I feel like the muscles really represent your spiritual growth. So you're ready. You can handle what's ever coming your way. Queen of Wands, I often call my intuitive queen. But she's a queen of action. 
she's a queen that you know she doesn't she doesn't move or not move because of fear this is someone does move a court like if i feel passionate about it then i'm going to step onto it i'm going to step into it um if i don't feel passionate about it then i'll i'll let that ace just dry up and die but to me again soul recognition um each in each truly enjoying each other's individuality again this is an energy where i i don't feel like anybody'd say there's anything you need to change about yourself though it is showing that you had dealt with some difficult energy you know i feel like who's ever in this reading um you know you were on that mountain with someone else and again it didn't work out you left um, you know, maybe you just weren't equally matched, so to speak. Um, and I do feel like you gave it time, especially with the Ten of Wands here. I feel like I feel like you definitely gave someone a lot of time, maybe even a lot of chances. But again, it's now the recognition that it's not, you know, that 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 me and that person are not going to work out. Um, and by the way, real quick, it's just, just because I said that is reminding me of comments that someone left where they said they get confused when I say I, me, you, and I get that. Um, but when I do a reading, I am you. And that's why I say I and me. When I say we, that means that it's me and our spiritual guides talking. But I and me, it's just me taking on you you know allowing myself to be you so just wanted to give a little clarity there let's slide these over a little and let's see what the romance angels say express your love go ahead and make that romantic gesture wow go ahead and make that romantic gesture Again, you left one mountaintop. That feels like it's over. But it feels like that's a good thing. Even though temporarily, Ten of Wands is difficult energy, right? I need to get through it. I often feel in the Ten of Wands subconsciously. I'm really wishing for a tower. Because again, things weren't going well. The Five of Swords right next to it. Things became toxic. Um, you know, whether that be just communication... But I feel like the one thing you can say to yourself is, I tried. I really did try. And it still, you know, didn't work out. Well, maybe that's as far as it was meant to go. Because, listen, here is this Ace of Pentacles. That means that someone is coming into your physical world. All right. Let's go ahead and... Take some clarifiers over this. All right, we're going to take what's face up first. Well, hello, world. The next chapter. Um, I truly love the world's energy because this is really a period of time when your spirituality is really alive and I feel once I, you know, once I claim that spirituality, I never lose it. It's like it, it stays with me. It's how I live my life now. Um, this does signify that a new chapter is opening up. It makes sense because we have the Ace of Pentacles. That literally means something's coming into your physical world. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you about this Ace. A lot of times you'll see like roots hanging off that ace. And to me, it reminds me of like a seed, you know, like I plant this seed in my garden. Well, I need to go back and nurture that seed, right? Make sure it's getting sun, getting watered, loving, nurturing it, and then it's going to blossom. Or I just let it dry up and die. But why would you plant that seed then? So anyways, here comes the next chapter. 
And I love that it's coming over partnerships and alliances. So again, you're not alone. Hmm. Five cups. Look at this. The Knight of Cups over the Ace of Pentacles. Unexpected cup of fulfillment. Well, it's love. And it's mirroring the world. You know, I feel like here, it's just saying that some of you have been, again, in a relationship where it, it just was too much. It didn't work out. Um, you left that mountaintop. You're on your way to a new mountaintop. This is unexpected. So, you know, I want to say you really can't plan for it, but you can in a way. Because if, if I'm conscious of my own energy, and again, of the seeds that I'm planting, you know, and I love, it kind of feels like your soul planted this seed. And here I come. Here I come to save the day. Hangman over the Ten of Wands. King of Pentacles. Um, can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, over the Five of Swords. And the beautiful Knight of Pentacles. First of all, two knights mirroring each other. Knight of Pentacles to me, you know, uh, this is why I say more than one reading for a lot of you are, are going to resonate because I can see the similarities between these readings. So this night is also about patience. This night talks about right time, the right time for me to bring in this ace. Well, here it is. So it literally is showing it. I often feel this is your guardian angel. Um, so again, someone very special who wants to see you in love and happy. And um, this wouldn't be just anyone. You know, we have that five of cups again. So, you know, and I also want to say that sometimes, and I know this from my own experiences, sometimes we were in difficult relationships. And even though it ended, and even though I know it was no good for me, it doesn't mean that I don't get lonely. It doesn't mean that I can't have this moment of weakness where, you know, I'm considering taking someone back. But I feel like with these two knights here, then you must have made that change of the five of cups. You're no longer focusing on what you've lost. And now you're thinking about what's yet to be gained. Um, I love the action steps that you've taken. Because again, you were bold enough to leave that mountaintop, take what you could carry, knowing that the material part of life is really not the ultimate. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with building up your material world. And I feel like for some souls, that's part, like, like when I think of a life path eight, I often, or even a master number 22, they're here, you know, number 22 is a master builder. So, you know, there's some are here to really build up, you know, I want to say finances, but it's really more about like what I can, what I can offer the world and who better to help the world than someone who's been where you've been, right? Who better to give you advice than someone who has walked in your shoes, Oh, we have one more card here. We have the Six of Wands. So, this is the energy of victory and success. Victory and success, my friends. Just look at this line right here. The, the Ace of Pentacles opens it up, right? First of all, the world. But in the world's energy, the next chapter. And because we're speaking of love, it is talking about, again, it's like the recognition of a soul. Like, I recognize your soul. It's, it's two people who are very much alike. Doesn't mean we're exactly alike. 
but we're on the same vibrational energy. This is definitely, again, the energy of someone who will appreciate you for exactly who you are. You know, and it doesn't mean you're perfect because no one's perfect, but that's okay. That's okay. So these two beautiful nights, one night, the Knight of Pentacles, I come at the right time, not before, not after, in the right time. Well, literally, here is that ace that it's offering. And then the Knight of Cups, I come in an unexpected time, but I still come. I still show up in your life. So I feel like you did leave someone and it feels like, I almost feel like you really had no other choice. You know, well, it's either I'm going to continue to live my life this way, which doesn't feel good, which feels difficult, which feels like, again, you being, you know, you carrying the brunt of the relationship on your shoulders well, I don't feel like you signed up for that. You know, you, you certainly learn from it. And sometimes the lesson is just simply, I now know what I don't want in love. Sometimes the lesson is, I now know that I need to be able to be what it is I want in love. I need you to be able to give, right? Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. So, here it comes. It's coming in. And again, it's following that five of cups. So soulmate. I should have just named this reading soulmate love. You know, the hangman is, again, seeking wisdom, right? But it's like, is, is it okay if I, you know, like, you know, is it the right thing to end this one relationship and I, I feel like, in a way, yes, you could stay and you could live your life where you're not happy, where you're always worried about someone. Um, and they've given, you know, it definitely is showing they've given you many, many reasons to worry. Um, even toxic type energy. And I feel like, you know, if if we're going to say this was love, it feels very difficult. Um, but that was then. And I can't help but tie this king a little to the difficult energy because he's coming right over the five of swords. So where the toxicity lies. Now, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. You know, so let's talk about if it's not an earth sign, what does it really stand for? Well, the King of Pentacles to me stands for loyalty, truth. Um, you know, also the King of Pentacles can be someone who does have a hard time expressing their emotions. Um, maybe doesn't express their emotions. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm just not feeling good about this King. But I feel like this is what you moved on from this is who was on that mountaintop with you. Knight of Pentacles is like, I needed you to leave that mountaintop first. And again, you don't even have to have found this next mountaintop. I feel like this is your next mountaintop. So I feel like as this comes in, You know, I do feel like it's asking you to try to be open. I feel like if you at least give it a chance, I feel quickly. Again, that energy of recognizing each other's soul. You know, something will feel different. Something will feel different. And that is your clue. Like something will feel different. You know, where I feel this king probably didn't express their emotions. Now I feel the opposite, where someone is going to say, I love you for exactly who you are. You know, those things that you don't love about yourself, that's exactly what I love about you. I think they're adorable. 
or someone else could have like broken you down. Um, I just want to look at the hangman over the Ten of Wands, and I don't even know why, because I feel like what this is saying is, for some of you, you may have questioned for a while, you know, should I leave this mountaintop or should I stay? Um, because, again, we want to remember that the hangman is seeking wisdom, right? Spiritual wisdom to use on this physical plane, and the hangman is mirroring the Knight of Pentacles. So, Knight of Pentacles is saying, again, I come at the right time. So, leaving this mountaintop feels, again, like the right time for me. But let's just go ahead. And look at that. And let's not forget, we have the chariot here, which is movement. But I feel like it's talking about movement away from someone. And it, it is like um, a new chapter is opening up. Holy crap. Okay. It's way too many cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to vary because they all came face up. So I don't want to refuse them, but I'm just going to quickly go over them. So we have the Nine of Wands, Reflection. This is, um, you know, when you look at the Nine of Wands, all those wands behind this person, they are accomplishments. They're the things that you've done in your life, um, the things you have learned. And this is about reflecting over that. But this is really reflecting over to see how you yourself has grown, especially if you are leaving a mountaintop that was toxic. I mean, you should be proud of yourself. Okay, I said I was going to do this quickly. Strength card. Overcoming. Also card of Leo. Ace of Wands. It's go time. It's like, okay, even though the Knight of Cups is unexpected, now the Ace of Wands, inspired action. Also, what I love about the Ace of Wands is it's going to help you you know, it's going to help guide your steps. But it does talk about it's go time. Okay, Six of Swords, beautiful. So that's you leaving that mountaintop. That's you saying goodbye to the toxicity. And, you know, in the Six of Wands, I often feel very proud that you, you have left it. This can be, again, temporarily difficult energy. But it really is the promise of calmer waters. Really, it's talking about the promise of what feels like true love versus this. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles again. And here she is in the boat, heading right towards that ace. You know, it's like, it, it, which I already knew this, but it's, but it's like your guardian angel was saying... The right time for me to bring in this ace and by the way i love that now we have two aces so i do feel like it's signifying for two people was when i've left that mountain top that mountaintop when i've left the toxicity behind that is the right time and the ace of wands behind it is like follow that that inspiration follow your intuition it's going to lead you to a really Feels like an un, like a, a quite a beautiful mountaintop. We have the Eight of Cups, the Full. So, and by the way, the Full in line with that Ace of Wands. And I spoke about the Full in the last reading, how the Full is about putting the past in the past. I love the Eight of Pentacles or the Eight of Cups right before that. Emotional clarity. Right, looked within that emotional house, found this emotional clarity. This person's leaving the Eight of Cups. Where are they heading to? The Nine of Cups, inner harmony. It may be important, right, that I myself find this inner harmony within myself. And that may be a signal that, okay, she or he is now ready. 
well, two of wands. So following the full, that's perfect. And look at this ace. It's like along the path. It's just there, right? It's just there. It's on this next path. Um, I feel like you're just going to like, I almost feel like you're going to bump into each other. We have temperance, divine timing. The star, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. Can I manifest them? Absolutely. Um, and, you know, in the star's energy, the way I read this is this is us working hand in hand with divine to bring about some real wishes. You know, um, it's like, you know, I have a picture in my mind of how I, I want my life to look. But this is you taking those action steps. It's like you are taking that Ace of Wands and you're following it. And it is manifesting a dream, a wish, or more. And then, well, a Six of Cups. So this could be someone that you already know. Um, but listen, Six of Cups really talks about happy memories. Some of you, you there could be actual movement. You know, like where you're moving, when you move from this mountaintop, you may be physically moving. You know, like I often can read this as like a hometown, a place where I have, you know, happy memories of. Um, and again, if I'm, I'm physically leaving this mountaintop, well, the chariot is your vehicle, number one. So that's good news. You know, that means, again, it's heading towards, or you always have unlimited potential. But this is you now recognizing that. So, you know, it's interesting how I said where you just might bump into each other. So that's what that kind of feels like. You're bumping into someone that potentially you already know. Um, but, of course, this can also talk about past lives. But I also feel like what this does, this love brings out this really playful nature within you. That may be why it's saying express your love. Go ahead and make, and make that romantic gesture. Like, hey, hi. How you been? How you been? Right next to the star. You know, it's showing us the past. And maybe some of you, it's still the present. And maybe you, that's what you're questioning. Do I continue to stay in something that truly I, I don't feel you could be happy in? Um, or do I go ahead and, and make a bold movement and make a change? The world's signifying that you do. But it's also signifying that it's time for a new chapter to open up. You know, the Knight of Pentacles again, the Knight of Cups. This is quite a beautiful reading, though, you know, it's real life. So it is talking about like some of the energy that wasn't good, some of the energy that was toxic. Um, but maybe the lesson is I had to understand that. I had to learn that I deserve better. Right. But to, but. For me, I feel like, and then I have to make movement. I got to say no more to someone. And again, with the five of cups, you know, you can see it in this, in this image where this person's like looking at these cups have been knocked over, but there's these two cups that they just don't even know exist yet. Intuitively. You may be able to pick it up, though. So, even though we have so many cards down here, to me, this is this feels like this is going to be a great time in your life. Not only a great time in your life, but I feel like this is talking about love that will last a lifetime, um, especially because it's being ushered in. Again, you know, like your first reading, it felt like good old dad. This reading, it's like your guardian angel. Um, and literally two aces. So I feel like that's relating to the soulmates. And I feel like you're just going to bump into each other. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I feel like 
And I wasn't even going to say it, but it just keeps coming back and back to me. So, I would say in this reading, as you move forward, as you take on that fool's energy, as you trust in your spiritual team, as you say to yourself, no more to toxic people, toxic energy, I want better for my life. And then you start to make those action steps. I feel like your spiritual team is just waiting and ready. Unexpected cup of love. Knight of Pentacles that come at the right time. And that you can trust in. And then it literally showing two aces. So it's not just you. It's also about them. And it's about when you're coming together. You know, when I do these readings, I want you to understand that sometimes this is not overnight type of energy because it is asking you to consider where you've been and the changes that you would like to see in your life um, and then being proactive. And it feels like the minute you're proactive, then everything starts moving, right? And because we have the world, that means this is a new chapter. But it feels like a chapter that potentially could last for the rest of our lives. The days of our lives. All right. Reading number three. Rejoice in celebration. This is the three of cups. You know, the three of cups really is meant to put joy in your heart. So let's see. We have, oh, hello, Ten of Cups. This is the house of love, abundance, laughter, joy. It can be blended families. You know, it's literally saying that you're going to have a reason to celebrate, and then it brings out the Ten of Cups. I'll take it. Oh, hello, Palace of Pentacles. So not only does it feel like love is being celebrated, but then ending up in the Palace of Pentacles. Well, the Palace of Pentacles talks about, to me, you know, real abundance, but abundance probably in every area of your life. We have the Queen of Wands again. We have the Six of Pentacles under the Ten of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles under the Palace of Pentacles. Good place for this queen to, to be. Um, again, you know, I could see the people here being um, like creating, creating from your creativity, if that makes sense. Um, you know, the Queen of Pentacles to me, I call her my psychic detective. So it feels like this queen is building some wealth, you know, and I don't say that very often, but I do feel like, like I'm building some wealth here. And the six of pentacles coming under the 10 of cups. Well, the six of pentacles, first of all, is a very empathetic and compassionate type energy. Um, but it can be somewhat unbalanced. And what I mean by that um, is, you know, I feel like this is a lesson. And it the lesson is, you know, do I give and give and give, but not receive? Have I done that? Again, I give because it's just what my soul wants to do. It makes me feel good to give. But I also have to be open to receiving. All right, let's see what the romance angels have to say very soon, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 
Well, you have a reason to celebrate forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Well, yes, you do with the Ten of Pentacles here. You know, and look at the abundance on the table right now. And I'm not just talking money. I'm talking love. I'm talking potential. I'm talking like blended families coming together. Some of you, this could be someone that you're starting a family with. Um, but I feel like these two individuals, I feel like they are so in tune to each other that, you know, listen, if, if I haven't created this true, what feels like unlimited abundance for myself, then I may be, you know, it may be like the two of us together. I mean, love, laughter, joy, very soon. Okay, let's take the gilded tarot over that. I feel like I feel like I want to give them a couple shuffles out. Let's get everything mixed back up again. You know, I feel like every reading shows us different lessons that we can learn just to help ourselves evolve. And I feel like the lesson here is forgiving. So there may be someone in your life that it would it, it would serve you to forgive. Now, when I say that, I never mean that you have to pick up a phone and call this person. This is about forgiving within your heart. You know, there's a lot of people in my life who, um, or let's just say a couple of people who forgiving was very hard. And did I call them and tell them? No, I just forgave them within my own heart. And, and the reason why I did that is because I didn't want to carry that energy with me anymore. I wanted it gone. All right. Let's bring very soon right there. Forgiving and learning right there. Look at this, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So you have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Palace of Pentacles. Over rejoice and celebration. Wah, wah. Why? Why does the Five of Swords have to keep coming out? Came out in every single reading. Well, it could certainly talk about a lesson I've been learning. You know, I feel like those of us who are on this spiritual journey, I mean, we're all really on this spiritual journey, but those of us who really recognize that, um, you know, we also recognize energy that's not good for us. And I feel like that's an important component to living a well-balanced life. Like, I have to know. You know, and it doesn't, a five of swords does, you know, toxic energy doesn't always have to relate back to a person. Um, you know, it can be people, but it can also be in one's own thought system. And that may be what forgiving is talking about. Like, I need to forgive this past toxic energy so that I can go on and enjoy my life. You know, it doesn't feel like it fits at this moment. So I'm hoping this is energy you've cleared. Now, with the Six of Pentacles below it, part of that lesson could have been, again, that energy of give and take. Page of Pentacles. The Death Card. Part of Scorpio. Um, but it literally does mean closing of doors. 
So, you know, the only thing that's showing right now um, that I would feel would even, it's so weird. I just looked over to the side and I could have swore I just saw a white dove in my room. Interesting. Like, really, I just thought I saw a white dove. Now, there's not one in my room, but for some of you, you may be connected to a white dove. Or connected to, you know, connected to does. Then have to be one. Um, so, Death Card talks about closing of doors. Right? But it's so a new door can open, always. And, um, you know, we shouldn't fear the Death Card. That's what it asks. Like, don't fear closing of a door because I promise you a new door will open. But look at the doors that open. The Ten of Cups, the Palace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, it's really quite beautiful. And then it's also, you know, telling you that when you know what you want and you put those intentions out there in the energy of very soon, well, I feel like very soon you receive it. But a door does need to close. You know, in the Page of Pentacles coming over the Palace of Pentacles, it can certainly talk about for some of you. Could have been a karmic lesson. Um, but listen, if it's a lesson I've learned and it was karmic, then I've learned it for eternity. That's why we don't want to interrupt someone else's lessons. You know what I mean? Um, and I certainly don't want someone else to interrupt mine. If, I, if this is something karmic and I can pay it off, and I can pay it off for eternity. You better believe I want to pay it off. So Page of Pentacles, it really is about a learning experience. Um, I also feel for some of you, because we have so many beautiful Pentacles here, that some of you, it can talk about um, you're doing something you went to school for. You know, I feel I get this feeling for some of you, you may work from home. Um, but listen, maybe you were dealing with toxic energy around your workplace. So a change happened. You know, in the Ten of Pentacles, in the Palace of Pentacles, you're not alone. In the Ten of Cups, you're not alone. Um, but I feel like the door closing right at this moment feels like the most important energy and the death card's coming over the queen of wands again my intuitive queen my queen that moves according to what stirs her passions and if you even look at her image you know with the five of swords on the board this is someone who's just rising above it all like doesn't allow themselves to get pulled into the drama doesn't mean I didn't, you know, in the past, but at this moment, I'm rising above it. I'm understanding it doesn't, you know, not serving me to get pulled into other people's drama. So death card to me with the queen of wands means instinctively you're going to feel this. We have the emperor. Some of you, I feel like you went on and you created your own business. Hello, Six of Cups again. Emperor, card of Aries. Um, sitting right next to Scorpio. But we have a lot of people on the board. You know, we have um, Younger Earth. We also have fire. I say younger earth, but then we also have the queen of pentacles. So again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, interesting because with the six of cups and the page of pentacles right there. Yes, this could also speak about someone that you already know. Maybe someone you went to school with. You know, while you were in a... Um, I feel like in a period of time when you were learning and growing. Some of you, I feel like, I feel like you may have been like surrounded by a lot of toxic energy, maybe at a workplace. 
And I kind of feel like if that's the case, then you probably left and now you're doing your own thing and becoming very successful at the same time. You know, the emperor is, if this is not like the person coming in, um, then it's you. But the emperor is someone who is someone we can look up to. This is someone who helps lead the people. Um, but the emperor is someone who also has a lot of experiences. The emperor does care about their fellow man and, and woman. You know, wants, wants, wants to bring balance into people's lives. Hmm. I feel more and more at you. So I think what I want to do is look right at the emperor. And the only reason why is because he does have the five of swords above him. I'm saying him, but it could be her. You know, the difference between the emperor and the empress is they both have the same goals in mind. They both care about their fellow man and woman. They both want to help. Other, you know, it, it brings them joy to see others do well. Um, that's what makes them such great leaders. They do it because it brings them joy. You know, I feel like money just comes naturally with that, but it's not my sole purpose. Um, the emperor is methodical. Someone who definitely puts plans in place. Where the empress is someone who kind of goes more by the seat of her pants. Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about both of them. We have the Knight of Swords. We have, look at that, the Five of Cups again. So the Five of Cups has shown up in every single reading. We have the Tower. So definitely there was an ending. Look at this, the Five of Wands. Temperance, every single reading. So divine timing is at work in every single reading. And then, hello, judgment, our spiritual team. So what is judgment saying to you? The first thing judgment is saying to you is, I need you in the present moment. Look at this. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. It's like that's what your spiritual team is saying to you. It does talk about a rebirth, as does the death card, right? Closing of one door, but it is so a new door can open. You know, it's similar to like the world card. This is more about the energy of needing you in the present moment. Why? Because this is where I send your signs. This is where I guide you. And again, divine timing being part of this. You definitely have dealt with some difficult energy here, no doubt. Um, you know, you have the Five of Swords, which does talk about toxic energy, but you also have the Five of Wands, which can talk about a lot of fighting. That's where a lot of drama can live. And in the Five of Wands, I feel like, you know, sometimes you get that energy of standing your ground. But in the Five of Wands, it's like standing your ground doesn't really serve you. Because I feel like in the Five of Wands, you know, maybe I had hoped and wished that someone would at least claim their part in what they've done to me in my life. But I feel like I don't get it. But here's the thing. I don't really need it. I just think that I do. You know, I'm not going to say that someone won't come forward and claim their part um, because we do have the Six of Cups. So this, in a way, because we have the Five of Cups that moves into the Tower. So it's definitely showing that this Tower happened and it may be something you didn't even ask for. You know what I mean? And But however, the energy that's attached to it is kind of difficult. So judgment is saying, let's have a rebirth in your life. 
Let me help guide you to your next steps, to a better life, to an energy where you really can feel joy in your heart. You deserve it. Judgment, mirroring, temperance. Let's not forget temperance. Temperance's first message is patience. But again, I often feel that many times divine timing is awaiting on us, right? Maybe to clearly decide what it is that I want so that it does come to me. Um, I get a feeling all of a sudden that someone may reach out to you and it feels completely unexpected. But it feels right at the same time. I feel like if you yourself have evolved, then who's ever coming towards you has also evolved. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is talking about maybe a past relationship um, that has the potential of a rebirth. But if that's the case, I do feel like, well, forgiving would have to be part of that. And that's for those who are interested in this. Okay, well, I just wanted to let that bite go by. So look at this. You have the Knight of Swords moving right into Temperance, looking right at Temperance. That feels like communication to me. Um, and then Judgment over here is saying, you know, I need you in the present moment because there's about to be a rebirth in your life. But it is it is meant to bring you joy. So this Emperor, even though I feel for some of you, you are the Emperor, because I feel like it's you and you took control of like your finances, what you do in the world, um, you know, like you're finding your place within the world and maybe even becoming very abundant. It, it reminds me of the first reading where it's like I got my finances together and then love comes in. But here I feel like I do feel and I don't like to say this often because you know, I already know what some people's responses are going to be. Like, there's no way I'll take that son of a bitch back. Well, then it's probably not that person. You know what I mean? Because I feel here. And listen, this may talk about what you let go of, right? And now you know what you clearly want, who you've forgiven and how you've forgiven and how that then opens up, you know, what's next in your life. Temperance feels like it was waiting for you to close the door. And you did. All right. I just want to go right over the emperor itself. Emperor, emperor, emperor. I don't know if I said it is card of Aries. Um, I don't know if I gave, gave any signs in this reading. So we have the Queen of Wands. Um, can be Cap or what, Capricorn, not Capricorn. Can be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Sagittarius right here also. Uh, Queen of Pentacles can be Queen and the Page of Pentacles can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, I don't see any other people. So let me refocus my attention on just the emperor. And I want to know this emperor as, is this someone who judgment is talking about? Our spiritual team.
Nine of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And then the Lovers. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. Again, independent. Standing on my own two feet. Seeing the fruits of my labor. And then you have that five of pentacles. So for some of you, it can talk about like, you know, maybe you lost a job. Maybe there was some type of change in your finances. But do I think you'll recoup that? Well, it's showing that you'll recoup it. Not only will you recoup it, but I feel like you'll be better than, you know. Um, but I do feel like, you know, it's it was important to find. I feel like it's always important to find like this independent nature within ourselves. And and that just means to me like where I'm not, what's the word I want to use? Like, like everything doesn't hinge on what this person can bring to me. This is where I feel good within myself. You know, it's certainly saying that you've overcome a lot here. But then we have the lovers, which is the card of Gemini, by the way. It is the meaning of the cards ahead of a hard decision. But because judgment is right here and temperance and then the six of cups, two sixes. I feel like it's someone you already know. Now, can it relate to past lives? It probably you probably have had past lives together. But in this reading, I do kind of feel like, you know, this person. Again, it could be someone that you knew that you went to school with, you know, during a period of time when you were learning. It can certainly talk about two people who are, you know, doing a similar, like a similar type, like have a similar type business, um, you know, probably have the same goals and morals, but approaching it in different ways. So, head of heart decision. Hmm. I feel like this is really more about the chemistry that I'm going to feel. Especially when it's touching the Six of Cups, because that really it does signify a happy time in your life. You know, it is about treasured memories. And, you know, in this lover, lover's image, you can see the feminine, like, feeling... The energy of the masculine, though they're not connected yet, but I can feel them before they even arrive. Wow, with so much spiritual energy on the table, that would make sense because you are being guided. It is coming in divine timing. And the divine timing is the closing of a certain door. But I have to say what I feel like lied behind that door was toxicity, drama, fighting ultimately ended up in a tower um so it was best for me to close that door anyways i don't feel like this person of the six of cups is part of that energy they could have they could definitely know what was going on you know what it's reminding me or what just came to my mind is for some of you it can be like the changing of your status on social media and that may be how you connect. You know, like I've gone from a relationship. Now I write on the my front page, single. Someone picks up on that. Because I feel like first there's communication. And I feel like who's ever calling me or communicating with me. Again, it can be through a text. It could be someone like, let's say it's Facebook and you put a post out. And all of a sudden, someone from your past, you know, puts a like on it or adds a comment. And you're like, whoa. And that just may open it up, open everything up. Um, You know, I don't want to put like. I don't want to say like something has to happen in a certain way. 
But what I am feeling is because especially when we open this reading up with the three of cups, which does, I mean, it literally says, um, rejoice in celebration, but it is the energy of bringing joy to your heart. So that's why I don't feel like this person, though I could have been in a relationship with them in the past and maybe it didn't work out, but I, I just don't feel like it was their energy that carried the drama and the toxicity because I feel like that's an energy where I'm just going to kind of let it go. So could be someone, you know, I get this feeling like someone um, like waiting in line, like, like, oh, she's single. That's my that's my opportunity to communicate. Even without expectations, maybe I do have expectations, but I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I kind of feel like I do know what's going to happen, but they don't. It's like just taking that bold action of reaching out. And I feel like that just opens the door. You know, judgment is guiding you. And temperance is telling you to trust in divine timing. But it is important that, you know, the things that didn't work, the things that didn't serve us, the people, the drama, the toxicity, that's what we want to close the door to. We don't want to just close the door. We do want to forgive. And, you know, that's just the spiritual way of being is forgiving. But also we want to understand that we also have the energy of very soon. So that death card. That's the door. Close that door. Then I feel like very soon that door opens. Okay. Let's let that be. But I'm not done yet because I want to take a Mother Mary card for each. Each of the um, readings. And I know maybe not everyone's going to see it if like you just picked one. And then you moved on. Um, but I know a lot of you watch all three. Let me just pick all this up. And then bring out Mother Mary. All right. So again, we're going to do three. One for each. We'll start at one. Or you may get all three at one time. Whatever wants to happen, let it happen. All right. So reading number one, patience. This is temperance. And temperance has showed up in every single reading. I trust in divine timing. Number one, patience, but also knowing that divine timing is at play in your love life. Open your heart, number two, open your heart. I allow myself to feel the full range of emotions, especially all forms of love. Open your heart and then hello, number three, love. Love. I think they're all love. But number three, love is the answer to all of my questions. Number one, patience, divine trust and divine timing. Number two, open up that heart. Open up that heart so love can find you. And number three, love. Love is the answer to all my questions. Amen. All right, guys, I'm going to let that be. Um, I hope you'd enjoy the, I hope you enjoy this. I hope it resonates with you. Uh, again, don't feel bad if you like, you know, um, pick more than one pal. And again, all three may resonate with you. So, you know, I feel like just let whatever resonates be. 
it could be, again, like just helping to get you ready. So, you know, our very last card says love. Amen. I love you guys. I thank you. I cannot wait to read your comments as always. And your comments just, um, they thrill me. You know what I mean? Like they, even the ones that maybe aren't quite so nice, it's like, uh, it still means that you watch the reading. It still means you have an opinion over it. Um, and I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? But yeah, I feel like, I can't wait to read your comments. And I feel like, you know, in the comment section, how I look at it is I feel like you help each other. You help each other. Um, and I already know some people are going to, you know, who have love that may be returning. I already know some people are going to say, I don't want that son of a bitch back. Well, you know, I feel like if you feel that way, then chances are that's not the person that's being talked about. Um, I'm not saying that someone who didn't treat us well can't evolve because of course they can. If we can evolve, why can't they? But again, if you say there's no way, then you say there's no way. I mean, that's your intention, right? That's you sending your intention. So think about that also. Um, you know, you have every right to say no. It is your free will. But then again, if it's like someone that you would say there's no way in hell, then okay, that's fine. But it doesn't mean, you know, I mean, it's up to you. You do a free will. But I feel like because this is talking about love, chances are you're interested in love in one way or another. So be open to whatever it may be. I mean, we had to find timing in every single one of these readings we had spiritual energy in every one of these readings you know this is this is not talking about low vibrational love this is talking about high vibrational love in every single reading the similarities are you know i expect them now at the more i do pick a card or pick a reading um i do expect the similarities and that's why i say don't beat yourself up if you're like, you're like, ah, I picked one, but two really sounds like me. Well, that one was probably meant for you too. And again, they may all tell one big story in the end. Okay, guys, I'm going to let that be. I love you. I uh, thank you. I think I'm going to go live next week um, before I take my little break. I am going to still do personal readings just so you know. Actually, I'm going to catch up on them. Um, I'm just going to pull back on everything else. Um, so I am still going to do personal readings, but there is, I definitely wanted to do this reading. I also am going to do twin flame reading, um, either today or tomorrow, the stiller game. I don't know if you can see it, but I got my stiller shirt on stiller games on tonight. So I have a little extra time. So I may do a twin flame today. I, I could see. Uh, I could see it being the right time to do it after, you know, after this reading. So, anyways, I thank you guys. I love you. Um, I truly feel like we're one big soul family. You know, when I do a reading, in my mind's eye, you're all here with me. And I feel like that's exactly how my guides want me to read. So, okay, I'm going to stop talking. Love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.